What's up guys? Today we're gonna do a little something special. I got a million Orbeez. I'm just kidding. Um, this is part two of the American flag build. And today I'm going to be adding the uh, stars. I got 50 stars and I shined up 13 of the 50 stars because I'm going to be doing a little something different. Uh, there's 14 valve covers that I'm going to be using and I'm going to spell out 1776 across the American flag and each one of these valve covers I'm going to put a remembrance of something in America's history. So one might have Iwo Jima, and one might have a tribute to the Iraqi war veterans. I think I'm going to throw in George Washington's crossing of the Delaware River, the uh, Boston Tea Party. Among other things, there's going to be 14 valve covers, so I'll have plenty of space to illustrate America's history and um, a lot of what makes America so great. So, if you do like today's video, like, share, and subscribe. And I appreciate whoever's watching and enjoying these um, because I enjoy making them. So, here we go. new plan. I felt like I wasn't really making much progress and I kind of want to get this done a little fast for today and then once I get more supplies and start in on the valve covers I can just start knocking out what I really want to do. So I put it on the ground and it'll be a whole lot easier for me to lay everything out and then nail it in. I'm going to continue doing that, but it'll be a whole lot easier. Alright, so I placed them. They're all placed. They're loose, but it only held in by the little hole that they came from the manufacturer. So what I'm going to do right now since you can barely see them from far away you can barely see the rusted ones so i figured i'm going to spray paint the rusty stars right now so here we go Okay, done with the stars. I think they turned out mint. What I actually did was I cut out a piece of cardboard and I cut a slit in it and just and just sprayed it and then took it out. To speed up the drying process, I used a little propane torch um, and I just lit it on fire. <laughs> You know, I don't want these things to be perfect. I kind of want them to have a little bit of grunge to them. I don't know if you can see it. It's kind of made the star bubble up a little bit. 
which I kind of like that effect. Now I'm going to start on the valve covers. I'm going to strip them down. I guess we'll get on that next. So, um, it's really slow going. Uh, I've only done four valve covers. I've been at it for about maybe 45 minutes to an hour, something like that. I feel all dusty. Um, so I got 10 more valve covers and I'm really tired. <clears throat> I might just uh, clean up these valve covers all off camera. But, uh, it's making a huge mess. And, um, I think I'm going to stop for the day. And, uh, pick this up some other day. Yeah. Huh. Okay. All right, new day. Um, I'm gonna get right into it. So I'm gonna try and knock out the rest of the valve covers over here. And uh, some of them, they probably just gonna need a little scuff up and uh, they'll be good. Uh, so that's good. Um, all right, let's get to it. not fun I got them all sanded they're not perfect but what I'm gonna do is take some white primer and I'm gonna dust each one of them before I hose on the primer it's kind of a technique to where if you don't have like the perfect surface to start out with um, it kind of gives the the primer or paint or whatever to uh, something to bite into uh, if you dust it first I want to start, I guess, cleaning these, and then um, I'll I'll prime them. <sighs> that was not fun. New day, new haircut. Um, I'm gonna start with those. 
I'm going to do the thing to those and the stuff on a thing. So let's get to it. So, painted them. There might be a little bit of imperfections in them. They're a little wet right now, but they're gonna dry uh, this satin color. Um, this is what I used. Uh, it's called Ivory Silk. And it kinda looks like an old, like, scroll or something. Um, it's almost like a uh, grandma color tan, but not too dark. Um, I think it'll look really good with that background. Um, anyways, I'm going to let them dry. And if I have to, I'll, uh, I'll sand any imperfections and then I'll, I'll go over that cover again. Uh, this one kind of has a lot of imperfections and then I think, uh, this one does too, but I kind of. I kind of like the imperfections on this one because there's a lot of pitting in, in the the uh, cover, but I kind of like that. Um, so I might just keep that, but this one, if I can't bury it in primer, I'll sand it uh, a little bit more and then paint it again. I think it's time to start designing the images that I'm going to be putting on this. So let's get to that. Um, well, it's been about two weeks since I filmed last. Um, went on vacation with the wife. She graduated from college. I actually had to outsource the images to my brother. He lives in Indiana. I'll get those images back when, once he's done what I wanted him to do with them. Uh, and then we'll get back to finishing this project. I got 98% of the valve covers done. If you can see it, it spells out 1776. And I'm going to start making the mounts to mount it to the flag. So, uh, bear with me. Ah! Alright, so uh, I got second mock-up the first mock-up looked like this here's a picture this is what the second mock-up looks like now uh, i'm gonna make the uh sevens uh into like french sevens so they're gonna have dashes through here um but what I did from the first mock-up to this one is obviously angle the sevens, which makes it a whole lot more readable. And uh, I kind of like it. Now, uh, I'm debating on this, but I'm thinking of uh, make, uh, do. You, you want, you. I'm thinking of doing a little patina uh, paintwork to the valve covers themselves. Kind of make them grungy looking and not so pristine and clean um so 
but uh, I'll show you the uh, dashes that I'm working on. I'm, I'm dusting them. They're uh, from a Chevy V6, probably out of like a Chevy 1500 in the 90s. But uh, that's what they look like. And I'm not gonna put any images on those, but uh, that's, that's a little update. Um, let's get back to it. Well, congratulations if you're still with me. This is the end of the video and I am done with this big project. Um, so, without further ado, I'm gonna walk you through what I did. Some of it I didn't record because it was just so tedious and so long and I'm tired. As you can see, you got the flag in the background, you got the 1776 with the valve covers, you got small images on each valve cover, inventors, past wars, Major events that happen in American history. The moon landing. Influential black Americans. Influential presidents. And um, it took a, a long time to do the paint jobs on these. I like the oil soaked effect on the paint jobs. It's like a nod to the dirty, grungy work and the American workers that built America. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm glad I'm done with it. Um, now, I'm going to go edit it. And that's going to take hours. I'll leave you with some close-up shots of each and every valve cover. And... A surprise at the very end so stick around to the very end if you like today's video please like share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one peace mm -hmm.